Welcome to PeopleSoft Now, I'm Rebecca Jackson. It's time to share the annual announcement of the PeopleSoft Innovator Awards. It's been a busy year, lots of new features and customers to recognize and stories to inspire your next steps with PeopleSoft. We're so excited to see the rapid adoption of new features, sometimes within just days of when we deliver. This year, I'm happy to report that uptake of important capabilities continues to accelerate. I'm particularly thrilled that we'll get to learn more about what many of these innovators have done at the upcoming Blueprint 4D conference in June, and that we'll get to celebrate their achievements in person. But more on that after we announce the innovators. So without further ado, Let's start with the feature innovators. In the category of analytics, many customers are in the process of implementing Kibana and quite a few are now live. Our newest innovators are Harvard University who has deployed the workforce composition dashboard in HCM and Robert W. Baird and company who use the delivered dashboards for payables and general ledger as inspiration to create their own personalized visualizations in Kibana. Now for perhaps the hottest area of uptake in the customer base today, we have several customers recognized for running PeopleSoft on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI. Harkins Builders worked with their partner SpearMC to move their on-premise FSCM environment running on SQL Server to OCI and the Oracle database. Hennepin County worked with their partner Astute to move their 32 instances across all PeopleSoft product areas to OCI saving about 40% in costs. And the state of Oklahoma Office of Management and Enterprise Services worked with their partner Micro to move their systems to OCI and adopt Cloud Manager. And the University of Tasmania worked with their partner Deloitte to move their PeopleSoft systems to OCI, resulting in about 20% cost savings and a 30% performance improvement in critical areas like payroll, time administration, and general ledger. In the area of configuration, Bits Polani worked with their partner, Kovayan Consulting, to eliminate more than 50% of their invasive customizations in FSCM and campus solutions using drop zones, event mapping, and application engine plugins, and moved another 30% of their customizations to configuration using Page and Field Configurator. In the important category of PeopleSoft Test Framework, or PTF, AARP worked with their partner Astute to create automated end-to-end -end tests across their PeopleSoft ERP suite and are using it on everything from people tools and application updates to implementing new business units and more. They've increased coverage and accuracy of results, reduced testing cycle time by 50%, and seen a 70% resource savings. Kaiser Permanente is recognized for continuing to expand their use of PTF at the center of their test automation strategy including the creation of an automation portal to enable their teams to run automated PTF tests for unit testing and formal QA testing. Now let's turn to the customers that have adopted new features inside the PeopleSoft ERP products. The school district of Lee County deployed fluid asset tracking to replace a third party system. Likewise, the state of Connecticut worked with their partner Accenture to adopt fluid asset tracking to replace a manual outdated asset tracking solution. The University of California Berkeley implemented fluid customer contracts, bringing contract billing, revenue, and prepaids into a common interface with related content, search, and more. Harris Health deployed fluidity procurement and enhanced their user experience with easier navigation, mobile device access, and streamlined approvals, especially helpful with urgent requisitions. The Georgia Department of Administrative Services joins the list of customers that have rolled out the Fluid Supplier Portal to improve interaction with suppliers. And two customers, Encompass Health and Northwestern Memorial Hospital, have implemented lease administration using the Delivered Activity Guide to transition to the new lease standards. In HCM, we've seen a lot of new feature adoption as well. Perhaps the most rapidly and widely adopted feature ever is health and safety. The College of Lake County deployed the new self-service capabilities for vaccine and test tracking to simplify data collection efforts. 
Southeastern grocers worked with their partner, SphereMC, to rapidly deploy health and safety to a large user base. And Temple University Health Systems worked with SphereMC to replace a third-party system with PeopleSoft Health and Safety. Another timely delivery was the remote worker feature, which was adopted by Big Lots for tracking their employees' work location across 1,400 stores in 47 states, and by Clackamas County, where the feature helped streamline the transition to their new telework policy, replacing a burdensome manual and paper-based tracking system. Three more customers have deployed the new job data modernization feature. Evergy noted the helpful side-by-side -side comparison between current data and proposed changes. Harris Health commented on the quick filters, the ability to save frequent searches, and the guided navigation. And J. Paul Getty Trust highlighted the new configurable search along with attachments and approvals. All three are using Page and Field Configurator to limit the fields required to streamline processing. And three customers have deployed the modernized fluid timesheets. Deakin University, Stanford Children's Hospital, and the University of Missouri have all enabled staff to report time using the configurable responsive timesheets. And last but not least, Bits Polani worked with their partner, Kovayan Consulting, to deploy Campus Solution Student Self-Service. The new fluid features available to more than 15,000 students in India and Dubai have significantly increased efficiency and ease of use, added crucial device flexibility, and improve the overall user experience. Please help me congratulate our new feature innovators. To learn more about these customers and their stories, visit the Feature Innovators section of peoplesoftinfo.com or attend the Blueprint 4D event in June to attend a detailed customer session. Now I'm pleased to announce and recognize the PeopleSoft innovators, those customers that have modernized with PeopleSoft in two or more strategic areas. Their lessons learned and experiences help us continue to improve the applications and demonstrate the best of what's possible for you to achieve. This year's innovators are Children's Hospital Colorado, who took advantage of their latest PeopleSoft HCM and FSCM image updates to deploy fluid navigation and features across their user base, including HCM employee self-service, e-procurement, new finance capabilities, and approvals. They made widespread use of page and field configurator, drop zones, and event mapping to eliminate and isolate customizations and replace their largest customization, a bolt-on module, with a fluid payment request feature, which alone eliminated more than 200 customizations. Endeavor Foundation, in conjunction with their partner Deloitte, modernized their HCM processes with fluid, including approvals, guided self-service, the new health and safety features, and most notably the recently delivered fluid offboarding feature that replaced a paper-based termination process, improving their compliance, enabling same-day reporting, and introduced automated notifications, reminders, and approvals. And they took advantage of many configuration capabilities like the questionnaire framework, activity guides, and event mapping to eliminate customization. Global Atlantic Financial Group, in conjunction with their partner Astute, moved their PeopleSoft financial system into Oracle Cloud infrastructure and have reported significant performance improvements as a result. They took the opportunity to adopt Elasticsearch across their financials applications to improve end user productivity and have now implemented a selective adoption strategy that includes deploying CPUs quarterly, application updates annually, and taking new people tools releases every 18 months. Hey Specialist Recruitment has continued their selective adoption journey with the rollout of an in-house continuous delivery model, leveraging automated update scripting, a monthly technical update of people tools and related tech stack components, a customization catalog and review process, and an orchestrated strategy to regularly deploy functional updates. This robust process has been used to deliver significant value to users, including widespread rollout of fluid features and self-service for employees and managers for critical HCM capabilities like absence management and payroll, diversity reporting, expense reporting, as well as approvals. Simon Fraser University, in conjunction with their partner, SpearMC, 
modernize their research portfolio with PeopleSoft grants management, the first of a four phase effort. In conjunction with the new module, the team updated people tools and deployed fluid homepages, fluid work centers, custom tiles, pivot grids, alerts, and notifications. At the same time, they made significant use of page and field configurator and event mapping to tailor the system without invasive customization. Waikato District Health Board, in conjunction with their partner Deloitte, moved their on-premise PeopleSoft HCM system running on SQL Server into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. They used the opportunity to upgrade people tools and move to the latest update image, deploying fluid capabilities across the HCM suite, including employee self-service, manager self-service, and the new job data modernization feature, enhancing the experience for all users of the system. Wichita Public School, in conjunction with their partner Astute, lifted and shifted their PeopleSoft HCM system into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and used selective adoption to take new features in the latest update images, including a variety of fluid dashboards, as well as employee and manager self-service capabilities to enable use across mobile devices. Please help me congratulate each of the PeopleSoft innovators. To learn more about the PeopleSoft Innovators, see their screenshots, and read their full stories, visit the Innovator Stories section of PeopleSoftInfo.com. The Innovators program is open all year long. If you've recently adopted a new feature or embarked on a modernization journey with PeopleSoft, submit a nomination and share your story with the community. We're waiting to hear from you. As I mentioned, we're thrilled to be in person at the Blueprint 4D event in June so we can recognize and congratulate the innovators in person. You can join us in Las Vegas or attend the conference virtually. Quite a few innovators will be presenting sessions. Bits Pilani, Deakin University, Georgia Department of Administrative Services, Hayes Specialist Recruitment, Hennepin County, Kaiser Permanente, Robert W. Baird and Company, and the State of Oklahoma Office of Management and Enterprise Services. I can't wait to learn more about what they've done, and I'm really looking forward to talking with the innovator attendees at the special innovators reception sponsored by Spear MC. We look forward to learning from and talking with all of our customers at the event. I hope to see you there. It's time to keep you in the know with PeopleSoft, starting with our recent product deliverables. In March, we released FSCM Image 43. In April, we released HCM Image 42 and Campus Solutions Image 25. Now for your new educational assets. We delivered highlight videos for FSCM Image 43 and HCM Image 42. For Campus Solutions Image 25, we posted two highlight videos, one for financial aid updates for aid year 2022 through 2023, and another that focuses on the new Student Records Fluid Graduation Application feature. We delivered video feature overviews for HCM vaccine and test tracking with analytics, and the team calendars for managers and employees. FSCM video feature overviews included the new Period Close Visualization feature, the Secure Supplier Portal, PeopleSoft Budget versus Actuals Analytics, and using the PeopleSoft eSettlement supplier skill for PeopleSoft Picasso. There's also a video feature overview that talks about the enhancements we've made to PeopleSoft Update Manager. And take some time to find out about the products and features customers are adopting. The newest PeopleSoft Now Innovators episode talks with Larry Zagata, managing partner at MyPro Consulting, about trends he's seeing in the PeopleSoft community. We've completed our merge of the PeopleSoft blog channels, so you now have one place to find and stay up to date on new PeopleSoft features and important topics. For example, we confirmed Oracle made its annual update to PeopleSoft support now through December 2033. On the ERP side, you can find your options for one-stop shop procurement, how to decide whether to keep a poor performing supplier, or make use of the digital assistant for invoices and payments, and how to mask sensitive data to comply with NACHA. For HCM, you can learn how to find your remote employees, use the new gender identity feature, 
or leverage new configuration options in Fluid Job Data. And the technologist can read posts like automating and reducing the cost of environment lifecycle activities, enabling auto-scaling in Cloud Manager 13, and the latest installment in the Search and Data Visualization series. Mark your calendars, the Blueprint 4D conference is next month. Our team is ready to see you at Blueprint 4D at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you can't attend in person, join the virtual program. Get the same session content plus region-specific live sessions in your time zone. Go to questoraclecommunity.org, then click on Events and Blueprint 4D to find out more. Finally, you can find all of the PeopleSoft information, videos, and more on the PeopleSoft information portal at peoplesoftinfo.com. And now, you're in the know. Good, Sparky.